whose new turntable is here at the show in Munich. So tell us all about this uh, this new turntable. Well, it's a. I think we should make the music a little lower. Yeah, turn the turn the volume down a bit. Which which is more? Yeah, yeah, okay. Basically, it's a, a new um, design which is very very focused on uh, vibration absorption. And it uses a very, very compliant suspension system that is at a very, very low frequency, natural frequency. And what that does is it isolates it from, for instance, ground-borne vibration. If you can see the table moving... You need to put some markers. Yeah, we can put some markers on. But this is a very, very loose stand. It's a cheap IKEA stand. And we use that for a reason is because it's so weak and flimsy and it shows that the turntable can actually absorb that kind of level of vibration. Now being unfortunately there's a reflection off the pl off the plexi off the glass, yeah. off the glass so I don't think people can see what's what's Inside in it. there but but there's a an isolation stand that's we can talk about yeah, the yeah, yeah, brand it's a, it's a minus, minus K. K. Made in California um, in Inglewood California it's used for electron microscopes and atomic force microscopes this is a customised version that's been built to our design. Um, we work closely with the guys at Minus K um, to come up with something that works specifically for a turntable. So normally you would never have music that loud in a room that you could excite a turntable to this level. Right. But uh, that just shows you the compliance of the system. Yeah. This okay. table... But it also gets more efficient because the frequency goes up. Yes. By... Um, Two hertz. We're operating at 99.99 percent isolation. Wow, wow. it's crazy. Um, they use it specifically to improve the images taken in an atomic force microscope, and it turns out that we've got micro signal. We call it micro signal architecture. It's to preserve the smallest of signals, and the tone arm designers do all this great work to try and make their arms as quiet as possible and retrieve the maximum information unless the turntable can support a tone arm in the quietest manner possible then it's all for naught. Right. So really what we're doing is we're allowing the tone arms and cartridges to operate at their most efficient level. So now tell me what, what else are we seeing here? Okay, um, the platter system is a um, you know, standard record clamp type arrangement. This is a new polymer that we've created. Um, it's got um, some metal compounds in it to give uh, you know, conductivity. This is a um, ring that damps the edge of the LP. So this table doesn't have vacuum. There's another version of this table that does support vacuum. Ah. But this one is the uh, one without vacuum. But the record sits on that lip and it absorbs the vibration that's travelling to and I fro see. across the surface of the LP very effectively. And and tell me about the motor. Okay, the motor is a belt drive and it's actually visible from the rear of the turn Can you see it here in the cutout in the platter? Um oh yeah. I can see the uh, the pulley. Yeah. So the motor is actually on board the turntable. It's not a separate motor housing. The motor is actually on the same plane as the platter. It's not suspension separate. The motor moves with the suspension. Right, which is good. Which is good, so you don't get the yawing yep. pitching yep. effects. And it's a tri-stage platter designed to absorb belt vibration and provide again a quiet surface for the record to And what, what is an AC? Uh... It's a uh, three phase AC motor. Um, it's off the shelf um, and um, <clears throat> it's you know nicely made for the price of the turntable. And, and is there a motor controller? Yes, yeah, there's a separate motor controller which is just um, down there. It's just a, just a box. That box down yeah, there? Yeah, that's the box, yeah. Okay. Okay, and um, so this this is that's for volume. V is for volume. What's V? No, that's for vacuum. Oh, for the one uh, model that has yeah, it. Yeah, it only has thirty three forty five. Right. 
uh, has a speed adjustment plus or minus and it also has the ability to put a bit of Hollywood on and off so yeah. and uh, what do you what do you see this is selling for in, in um, it's going to retail with tone arm for about 40,000 euro so um, it's sitting around with what tone arm? Which are well, this is with the Schroeder CB tone arm right this is a new uh, tone arm the whole turntable is actually built by Thrax Audio <coughs> Um, it's an audio ah. union project. I see. So it's a Diamond brand turntable with a Schroeder brand tone arm as an audio union project by Thrax. That's how we can get the price. I see. Put much more engineering into it and keep the and price. Can you get it, it without, a, without an arm? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. These arm boards are removable and you can drill them and mill them to fit, for instance, the Swedish audio yeah, technology. What is, that? what is this arm here? I know. I know. This is a very, very special tone arm. I know. <laughs> It's uh, absolutely stunning. Um, I, I can't speak highly enough about it. Um, the Swedish audio technology arm by Mark Gomez. We're running it with the Lyra Etna cartridge that um, was kindly provided by Stieg. And I'm really enjoying this. It's absolutely um, stunning. Yeah. Yes. You should review one, I think. I, I, I just did. Now I've now I got to review it with this table at some point. Well, <laughs> we'll try and get that. When you're, ready, when you're ready to go, I'll be ready to go. Well, this is a... Um, it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful uh, version. Um, it's got uh, some development. Um, so when do you think you'll actually have this? Uh, look, realistically, probably October is the production run. We're already taking orders. So. Um, well, we all take orders. We're married. <laughs> <laughs> and the idea is that, like a watch, which has got the open back or the open front, where you see all the workings that you can see inside. <coughs> yeah. And see all the mechanisms. Very, very elegant looking. I like it. So this this doesn't turn the platters in no. inside. Platters inside. Oh that's I don't think anybody's ever done anything like that. Oh Denon and the yeah, Japanese did? guys did oh, a lot ages old. ages old. I'm not old enough to remember that stuff. It's nothing new under the sun, Michael. <laughs>